Most people I know who grow their own vegetables seem to have a similar experience when it comes to these. Summer comes around and you end up with way more zucchini than you bargained for. You try to get rid of them in the only way you know how, but you can only eat so much zucchini bread. Maybe you even discover that you don't really like zucchini after all. At that point, you're left with one option. Maybe there's something more we could be doing with zucchini. Perhaps the best place to start is to ask the people who invented them. Why you are giving away my zucchini, Harper? Harper, yes, it's true. Zucchini were bred in Milan. In order to show you how good they are, I'm going to cook for you five course meal based just on zucchini. By the way, for those of you who do like zucchini, I'm very curious to know. Leave a comment down below. What's your favorite zucchini dish? Reveal your secrets. For the antipasto, we are going to cook a raviolo that isn't really a raviolo, but it resembles a raviolo. I do like ravioli. Me too, what? But so you will be happy to have a zucchini raviolo. This definitely isn't what I had in mind when you said raviolo. No, Harper, I said, for the antipasto, we are going to cook a raviolo that isn't really a raviolo. I truly do not like zucchini. Is this the dish to change my mind? We'll find out. So, Harper, let's dig in. Okay. Buon appetito. Buon appetito. Mm. I don't know how you can say that zucchini are not delicious. Mm. You didn't understand very well if you like or not this zucchini. Okay, that's really good. And I really like that. And I would like you to continue making this for me. But. That's very good. There is a but. There isn't a but in this There is dish. a but. Here's the but. My only problem with this is that if that were an eggplant, I think I'd like it more. <laughs> Therefore, I am not yet conquered by the zucchini. I'm much more conquered by the eggplant, which is another vegetable that I used to not like until she changed my mind. Take your fork. Ciao, Arthur. No, I still want to eat it. It's still good. It's still good. It's just if you had one of these made with an eggplant in front of me. With the eggplants, yes, because the eggplants are amazing by themselves. But the zucchini are good as the eggplants, so I don't really understand how you can say but. Well, I'm sorry, Ava. You're just going to have to keep trying. But after I finish. Yes. Okay? Of course. Me too. As a first course, I decided to make the most famous pasta with zucchine, which means spaghetti alla nerano. Thank you. 
I am actually very familiar with this dish. Not because I've ever had it, but because we get so many requests to make it. And I have to be honest, every time I see a request for this, I'm like, ah, zucchini pasta, uh. Harper, this is not pasta with zucchini. This is a spaghetti alla nerano. It is the most famous pasta with zucchini that exists in the planet of Earth. For sure, it's creamy. It's very creamy. For sure, it's creamy. Buon appetito. Buon appetito. Okay, I can see why we get so many requests for that. It's not quite the boring vegetable pasta I was expecting. Mm -mm. It's really good. It's very good. It's very creamy. It's easy to make. It's simple. The important is having the right and good ingredients because at the end it's just pasta, zucchini and some cheese. That zucchini dish has definitely won me over. But I want to challenge you to find me a zucchini dish I like that doesn't require double frying the zucchini to make them good. Easy. But first, I need a drink from today's video sponsor. When Ava and I were last in Italy, I actually put a lot of effort into trying to learn more about wine. Now I'm broadening my horizons and learning a little bit about Japanese sake. That's why I've come to love Tipsy Sake. They're the largest online sake store in the US with over 400 labels and counting. Best of all, they make it easy as a beginner like me to actually learn more about what I'm drinking. If you sign up for the Tipsy Sake Club membership, you will get a special curated box every three months with six 10 ounce bottles. Each bottle will come with a card like this. It'll have information about that specific bottle, where it was made, what kind of foods it pairs well with. It also has this little QR code. You scan that and it'll take you to an educational tasting video with that actual bottle. You will also get the Tipsy Sake Guide for beginners like me. Every time you get a new box, there'll be more to learn and new sake to try. Sign up for the Tipsy Sake Club today. Visit the link in the description below and use code PASTA for 10% off all of their products or use code PASTA30 for $30 off your first sake box. A big thank you to Tipsy Sake for sponsoring today's video. Where's my sake? Ava's took, it. Ava took my sake. Kanpai. As a second course, I'm going to make a recipe that comes from direct from my mom. I don't really know if this is a traditional Italian recipe, but for sure it's a tradition in my home because my mother starts to make this like May and ends in October, all during the zucchini season. And if there is a dish that can conquer a zucchini hater, believe me, this is the one. If you have some leftover parmigiano rind, this is a good way to use it. have some conflicting first impressions about this dish. On the one hand, my mind is going, how good could some zucchini and some potatoes cooked in tomato sauce be? On the other hand, if this comes from Mama Rosa, who's never been wrong about anything related to food, or really anything at all, as far as I know, then that means that I'm probably really wrong. Two words about this dish. Only two? See, only two. You can eat this dish in three different ways. You can use it as a sauce 
for your pasta. You can use as a sauce for your rice, or you can eat by itself as a second course. Mix a little bit. I'm into the breadcrumbs and the cheese. Bon appetito. Mama Rosa always does this. Mama Rosa always does this. Okay, we're not done with the meal yet, but this is the best thus far. That is wicked good. He's rich, even if he's based on zucchini. He doesn't believe how good this can be. Mama Rosa strikes again. You still don't like zucchini? No, I still hate it. You should definitely cook me another dish. to use a recipe that is older than this kind of zucchini. For someone, this recipe is from the ancient Rome. From uh, other people, uh, this recipe comes from uh, the Spanish kingdom in the south of Italy. What we know for sure is that it's a typical recipe from Napoli. And you know that in Napoli they know how to cook. Now I need to let them dry for a little bit because I'm so lucky that I live in Arizona and because here we have a very hard sun, I will bring them outside for about half an hour or one hour. But if you don't live in Arizona, you can just salt them and let them dry or lose the, lose the water for about uh, two hours. Yeah, those ought to be dry in about 10 seconds. Are they done? Yes, and you understand that they are done when uh, they look a little bit uh, wrinkled. Wrinkled? See? Deja vu. zucchini alla scapece and it's a traditional dish from Napoli. How many times did you wear in Napoli? Many times. In all this time that you were there, did you eat something bad? No. So? I'm definitely intrigued by the mint vinegar marinade. I have a feeling it's gonna be good. Buon appetito! Buon appetito. Oh. Then tell me that mm. zucchini are no good. Hmm, Mama Rosa, I love you, but you've been dethroned by Napoli. It's tough competition, I'm sorry. And you know what? This is much better if you prepare the day before and you let it sit for at least one day, 12 hours. This is really maybe the most intriguing dish for me because it's like you really taste the zucchini. I mean, it's mostly zucchini. It's like you get the tang from the vinegar, you get the mint, but like the zucchini really comes through. But even as someone who didn't like zucchini, it's really, really, really delicious. But you can do also eggplants. Actually, that's kind of funny because in this case, I can't imagine that being better with eggplants. Because Harper, zucchini are very good. E yeah, I, yeah, <laughs> yep, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I've definitely come around, but our five course meal is not done. And I, for one, am very curious to know what you are gonna make for dessert. And now it's time for dessert. You gonna make zucchini bread? No, Arpir. Even if I love zucchini bread, it's not an Italian dessert. 
And here I'm going to show you a Sicilian dessert that is not easy to find nowadays, but if you know them, you will love them. This is crazy, in an amazing and awesome way. This is Maria Stuarda. What? Maria Stuarda. This dessert was made in Sicily and dedicated to Mary Stuart. As in, of the British royal family? Si, Harper. They made the dessert in Sicily and called the dessert like the Maria Stuarda. Don't ask me why, because I don't know. Future Harper, Google this. That's pretty weird, but then again, it is a pretty weird dessert. It's very cute, though. Harper is pretty beautiful, yes, but it's not weird because in Sicily they use the zucchini jam that they call zucata to make several of their dessert. So it's not weird at all. I'll take your word for it that this is not weird. As the zucchini before for, from Napoli, do you think that Sicilian makes a mistake about their dessert? No. Ah, oh, that's cool. It looks cool. It looks very really beautiful. Buon appetito. Buon appetito. First of all, it tastes distinctly Sicilian. Their desserts are unlike any other dessert in Italy. What's amazing though, is that it tastes exactly like zucchini. It didn't like cover up the taste or change the taste. It tastes like zucchini, but a dessert. A sweet dessert, and it's really good. I'm sorry, Harper, but you have zucchini bread, so it shouldn't be so weird for you having a dessert with a zucchini. That's true. Well, from antipasto to dessert, you've proven to me that zucchini is really good. 10 out of 10, we'll eat again. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you don't really like zucchini, we really encourage you to try these recipes. Trust me. And if you do like zucchini, then you definitely need to make these recipes. Give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Also follow us on social media, at Pasta Grammar. Tag us in a picture if you try any of these. All right, we'll see you guys next time. Ciao. Hello.